Okay, so now this is part three. Actually, it's part four if you count the false start. So this is gonna, anyway, that's the way it works out here in the West. And we're in the, and this is where we stopped, I believe. The primary bedroom, closet, northeast corner. That's too close, we need a nailing plate right there. It's not an inch and a half. In fact, speaking of an inch and a half, we're measurers, we got measuring stuff. Is that an inch and a half? It doesn't look like an inch and a half to me either. They were pretty good about finding some of these. I found some. It's not between everybody, we found them all. Is that an inch and a half? Doesn't look like an inch and a half to me. You're gonna get hard, tired of hearing me say that. Yeah, boy, that's a judgment call. You know what? Better safe than sorry. That's what my late mamas used to say before she smoked herself to death. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, mama. All right. Because you can rectify this one of two ways. You can move it over with another staple, get it out of the way, or you put a nailing plate on it. We're in the primary bedroom. This is the shower. Moving on along. Okay, we're going to have two showers. We got insulation on this piping because it's on the exterior wall, okay? In the laundry, you'll notice that we don't have insulation on the piping because that piping is far enough away from the wall. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back to the laundry because over here, I mean, that is a good six feet from the wall. That is being very safe and very cautious. But over here in this shower, you know, that's like 36 inches from the wall. And if insulating this pipe is good enough for the shower, all right, it's good enough for the laundry. So at the beginning of the first video, I was talking about the clothes dryer vent and all that. Well, just, you know, just bide your time because by the time you get to video four, <laughs> it'll be a little different. Okay, this is um, some kind of a fountain, a bidet or something. This is the toilet. This is going to be out in the oak. Oh, that's the bathtub. Excuse me. And they had the pipe. That's the hot and the cold pipe. And our bathtub is going to be here. I get it. I get it. Okay. So moving on along. Moving on along and on along. And we're still traveler because we're travelers. And we're coming in. And this piping right here is at an inch and a half. No, this either put some more clips on it. Right? That clip is even too close. So all this piping, they come in here, start hanging this drywall, all this sheetrock. Those mud monkeys, they're gonna come in here and they're just gonna like put nails in all your stuff, man. Okay, moving on along. Looking good, looking good. Okay, this is a great example. Because when I was talking in the laundry, and I was talking about the fire suppression system and the holes they put in the wood. Well, look at this one right here. Those are nailing plates, aren't they? I was getting carried away. I was hoping that was a saddle. Because that is more than 50%. That is more than 50%. With the nailing plates, I think you're structurally okay there. That is a judgment call, man. That is a judgment call right there. Discuss the vent pipe in the primary bedroom slash hall wall and how it goes through the top plate and how it might, it's over 50% and it might need better support. Okay, we're moving on along. This is a, a little linen closet, I suppose. It is now, whatever it says on the plans. We're in bedroom two now. We're moving right on along. We're coming in. And again in bedroom two, anchor bolts in the outside third. Anchor bolts in the outside third. Anchor bolts in the outside third. Anchor bolt in the outside third. Moving on along here. We've got this bat, okay? That pink stuff. We're supposed to have that. 
Okay? That's not fire blocking. That's not draft stopping. That's for insulation. Okay? That's for thermal bridging. That's what that's for. We got it over here. And the reason why I'm bringing that to your attention is we come over here, and this is the bedroom number two bathroom, and we don't have our bat up there. We don't have our bat. Our bat's missing. And then we come up here while we're looking up. All right. See the piping? See how close it is to the, to the ceiling uh, um, attic floor joist, ceiling joist? Depends on which direction you're looking. But that's close to, that's further. <laughs> it's too close to the edge. It's not that you don't have one and a half inches of space right there. Uh, drywall nail can go right through that. Moving on along, we're coming through here. You see this inside like this? This is for sheer strength. All right. This isn't for, um, it's not a drainage plane like it is on the exterior wall. It's not exterior strength on the exterior wall. It's not that. Okay. What this is, is, is for sheer strength. It's kind of like in the kitchen when I was showing you the straps that had the nails in them and comparing those to the um, electric meter. It's kind of like that. That's what these are. That's what these walls are for. It's a good thing. Now, somebody up here had a pretty good idea. It's my paint up there. But somehow or another, the platform just goes like through the wall right there. That needs to be sealed up. Now, once it gets up here, it's no longer sheer strength because that's the space between the living space and the attic. Okay. So now we're draft stopping. Now we're draft stopping. So that needs to be cut out and it needs to be sealed. And on the walkway, right here, I don't know if you can see it from here, back to bedroom two, we got another one over here on both sides where the board comes through right there. And both of those areas need to be deal dealt with, dealt with. It's that time of day, and it is that time of day, and this is the last video I'm gonna make today, so this is when I like to say that the anchor bolts are in the outside third and the anchor bolts are in the outside third, but this is also the time and I'd like to say thank you to my dear client. You don't know this. This is going to be an early video. There's more to watch. But this is when I'd like to say thank you to my dear client very much for your business and your trust. Those things mean the world to my family and I. And I just want to let you know, sir, that I appreciate your business. So thank you. And now you got it on tape. And then, moving along. So that was bedroom th three. Okay, that was bedroom two. So the primary bedroom is number one. We're coming down here to the dark room because the window hasn't been installed yet. Let's see if I can. I am dealing with flashlight. I mean, my flashlight, one of my flashlight batteries died on me. This one's about to die on me. I ran everything out on this one. I gave you all I got, all the energy anyway, all my energy. So we're moving on along. This is the first bedroom. These are all holding water. They're supposed to. That's what they're there for. We're testing the pans. Okay, it's not really attractive, but I mean, it kind of is what it is. Mine's going to look like that. I have to redo my bathroom here pretty soon if I want to stay married. So I'm going to look at that. Moving on along. This has already been secured, so I'm not going to worry about the inch and a half. Look at there. You know what? I am too going to worry about that. Oh, that's a splinter. <laughs> Take it away. All right, so we're, we're good now. But if I'd been here sooner, I would have had a nailing plate over there. And this is going to be a brick exterior, so nobody's going to be nailing into that. So we lucked out. We lucked out. Now, this is the main water shutoff valve for... The fire suppression system, is that right? Where do you go to? Again, I don't inspect fire suppression systems. They're supposed to be approved some other way. Oh, this is the testing valve, okay, for the fire suppression system. It goes out on the east side of the house. I'll be looking for that later. So we use this valve to flush the system and fill it full of new water. Is this really not the... Anyway, um, all of that will come to me. In a dream. 
see they this is the fresh air induction vent into the house and somebody doesn't like the way this little nook has been kicked out like this and I have to agree with them it's not supposed to be kinked so it needs to be stretched up it needs to be stretched up a little bit so that when they put the drywall that comes in and they don't crush it okay so The fresh air induction vent is not positioned properly to prevent it from being crushed from the drywall. And the number one, two, three, number four bedroom closet, northeast corner. Moving on along. Outside third, outside third, just around the perimeter, around the perimeter. There's so many of these. So many of these. And then again, um, some of these holes that I've got sprayed with pink paint is probably not a thing because we have a, you have a double layer. So you have a double layer for your drainage plane. And we're going to come in, we're going to insulate the walls, and um, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You think water can get in there? I do. That's what I think. So we've got a big old open cornice there. It's going to be kind of curious what they're going to do with that. And then along here, I don't think I've got here yet, but uh, there's a construction board just sitting here. And the guy that came out here did the banding. Construction people are very focused. So you just kind of put the banding around it. What's going to happen is the drywall guys, I hope they don't drywall around that. They'll yank that off. They'll yank the banding off. They won't put the banding back. They don't care. All they want to do is get the mud up there. So that board needs to come off and the banding needs to be repaired like it needs to be repaired over there. And this is the game room. It goes off, off of the front porch. And these are the doors. And if I remember correctly, this is kind of like a non-eventful room. That's close. It's a close call for the middle third, but I think we made it. Okay. No, we didn't get out unscathed. That's too close. That's on the outside third, right there. One of the anchor bolts. Something I know. I think I got it. Okay, the plumbing too close to the wall. Here we go. Is that closer than one and a half inches? I think so. Uh, bedroom number two and the um, light box on the back side of it, right there. You can just be nicer than that. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't cost anything to be nice. Yeah. Again, is that another smoke alarm? That'd be nice. Okay, two on each side. That's for speakers. You got surround sound coming in here? Got one on all four corners? Okay, well, I take back my statement in the another video that you're going to see sooner or later and I was so excited about that box right there I was like I can't believe you put a smoke alarm in the main living area you know they the instructions the smoke alarm instructions say that you should have one in the main living area on every floor code inspector you know whatever he says whatever he decides but you know, that's that's what I know is, uh, what the instructions say so they can talk to the instructions and explain why I don't know what I'm talking about. I've heard that before. Man, we need these wires. These wires need to be better pulled through here. This all needs to be tightened up a little bit for the Rockers get in here, sheet rock guys, the rock stars, whatever other names they come up with. And that's it. We've gone counterclockwise through the entire structure in a series of four videos, but we got it done. We got her done. Thank you again.